So this thing hovers pretty darn good, and there's no wind right now. And we're out here, and it's just staying in the same spot. It's pretty cool. This is 25 bucks. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So today we are going to review this TSRC drone. And the reason why we went ahead and ordered this guy is because it was only $25 on Amazon. Inside, you'll find several warning labels encouraging you to only use during calm weather. But nonetheless, owner's manual, all that good stuff. I didn't even open it up, if I'm being honest. But the remote control was something that I was kind of a little concerned about. And it's actually better than I thought. On top of that, they also included extra parts for a little bit of everything. You got some landing gear here, and there's also four replacement blades, and they even include a toolkit. Now, of course, you have to have some power supply, so you do get two charging cables to charge not only the remote, but also the batteries that are in this pack as well. And that leaves me with my most impressed aspect of this kit. These batteries, these actually do a pretty good job i mean i'm not gonna lie I've, I've charged them probably a few dozen times now and they perform pretty well under wi-fi you can see the tsrc go back into our tsrc all right it asks for the calibration so first step we're gonna just rotate it until we hear a beep there goes one beep now we need to do this number. Now it says we're ready to go. All right, there, now we see what the camera sees. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch over. One thing we ran into a lot on YouTube was there was hardly any footage of what this drone actually looked like. What was the raw footage? So this is raw footage that I shot myself in the Texas Hill Country. And you guys can see it's pretty shaky. You know, of course, this is, <laughs> at the end of the day, it is a $25 drone. So the fact that we're able to get this quality of an image, I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. And I did make it a point to film when the weather was very calm and the wind was pretty much non-existent. And still, this is the level of footage that I was able to kind of get. Once it would get up high in the air, I'm sure it's battling a little bit more of the wind. So you do see the quality of the film start to get a little shaky once it's above the tree line. And I'm sure there's some crosswind that we can't see up there. But, uh, but it still does pretty good, you know? I think the paying a close attention to the detail as far as the lighting that it captures and just the overall exposure of the footage, I'd say it's, it's pretty good. I mean, this is not too shabby. Considering what I grew up flying around, this is a joy to use. It really is a lot of fun. And although the footage is somewhat similar to a, uh, a security camera in terms of the quality of the image, it still does a pretty good job. To give you a quick crash course on this guy, this inward motion will activate the propellers, get them spinning. Button on the top right here is going to be your GPS configuration. Directly on the other side, you'll see another button in the top left that says GPS. That only turns it on or off. So if you're switching to fly indoors, you would turn the GPS off versus outdoors, you would wanna have GPS configuration turned on. This little guy is tried and true and it's your easy takeoff and easy landing button. So remember this one. Focusing on the left joystick first, this is uh, pretty self-explanatory for most. It's up and down, but it's also the rotation. So uh, this will give the, um, I, I guess it will give the drone the ability to actually turn and spin on its own axis, as opposed to this guy on the right, which will simply just move it from side to side, front and back. But uh, depending on which way the camera lens is pointing, will determine which direction it's gonna go in. Man, I can't tell you how surprised I am at this thing and how well it has held up. I mean, we have used probably well, 30 different charge cycles on the batteries and boy, is it fun to fly around. 
I know it's hard to tell because the footage is a bit shaky, you know, there's no stabilization, but it really does handle pretty smooth. And you can see it, you know, that GPS configuration when it's fighting the wind and really trying to hold its position. This thing has enough power to where it can scoot around and it's not overtaken by the wind. So, I mean, for the money, I, I honestly, it's just, I'm so shocked that this is something we were able to get our hands on. Now that we've gotten some practice on this guy, I think it's safe to say we are ready to step up to the DJI, possibly get uh, a Mavic or maybe get something a little bit more extreme. But boy, this thing has been a lot of fun to use the last couple of months. I really like this little TSRC drone and uh, hopefully we can make some more fun videos with it. If this video has helped you in one way or another, please give us a like or comment down below. Thanks for watching.